Hello, everyone. I'm delighted to be here with the wonderful students of bridging once again. And as always, these students are in community connections and they are learning about the ability for everyday people to come in and make their own TV show and tell their own story. So without further ado, I am going to have the Dream Seekers um. introduce themselves to you. My name is Camus. The, the high school I go to is Emma Mew. Awesome. My name's, my name's Ryan, and I'm going to um, MMU. I'm Clara, and I go to CHS. I'm Clara, and I go to CHS. Awesome. And then we have one more student in the in the Dream Seekers. Ray Sterling. Name, Ray yes. Sterling. Ray Sterling. And I'm sorry he's not here today, but he wanted to make sure everyone saw the artwork that he's been creating at Bridging that is starting to fill this these two walls. So. So what's going to happen today is the Dream Seekers are going to interview and be interviewed by renowned activist, disability activist David Fry. So we'll introduce him in a moment. And then, and this will happen, each student will have some time with David. So, and they'll be talking about advocacy. They will also be talking about the artwork, the works of art that they created with Topaz Weiss over at Expressive Arts Burlington. So without further ado, Let's we're going do to this. snap out the dream seekers. But we need to get, but we need to see um, nervousness. Yeah, so we're all gonna snap. One, two, three. And now I'd like to take a moment and introduce our guest of the morning, David Fry. <laughs> David, it's so wonderful to have you here again to talk to these young potential future advocates. Do you, was there anything you'd like to say to start us off before you meet each of the students? No, I, I guess. You know, I'm really, really thankful to be on the show and to show them a little inspiration that, hey, I'm such a great advocate and to, to teach them that they can be too. So I'm bring me aboard on this. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> great, so we will snap in Clara. Hey, Clara. Hey. Okay, you've got some questions for David. What? Does self advocacy mean to you? Mean to you? What self advocacy means to me is speaking up for myself, speaking up for others that cannot be speak that cannot speak up for themselves, and to be part of the table when decisions are being made for us or being being made for me. I want to be at that table. And I want other advocates to be at that table too. So we need to be at the table when decisions are being made for us. Cool. Awesome. How is your day going? Oh, yeah, she has a second question. Did you hear that? I didn't hear it. How is your day going? My day is going great so far. Yeah. Um, and I'm really, really glad to be on this program to give you advice to hopefully that you will take my advice because being a strong advocate for you being yourself, it's very important. And if you want, want to speak up for others, it's important as well. Cool. So, yeah, do you want to talk that, to David about your artwork? This, I made this with Topaz in Preston Art Studio. Oh, it has that is cards cool. and a th thumbs down. So, I believe her, she, she, she gives you a prompt when you go in to, to do a collage that shares something about yourself, like maybe the inside of yourself? This is my inside. The, is this the back? 
that, that what's on the back here is your inside? I really. Yeah, let's show that because I don't think I took a picture of that for the thing. So there's, what is that? There's a man and woman talking next to a sort of romantic night scene. And I realized, and then on the outside, cars. And I heard that that was inspired by a movie. You love movies. Fast and Furious. <laughs> That's great. David, do you have some questions for Clara about her artwork, her work of art? What inspired you to, to do that beautiful artwork? And um, what is in it that could mean a little bit of self-advocacy in it? A thumbs down? Thumbs down. Is that is that a yeah a way to share that you don't like something? I don't like a way to speak up for yourself. Yeah, get get your opinion out. Yeah, that's wonderful. Can I be done? Are you are you fin feeling finished? I'm finished. Okay, awesome, great job, Claire. Claire, do you want to snap out? Oh, come back so we can snap you out because you'll love it when it happens. So, so take, take a seat with it. Well, Clara, so wonderful for you to have a chance to chat with David. Uh, let's snap out. Yeah. One, two, three. And here I am with Ryan. Ryan, David. Ryan, do you have a question to ask David? Hey, David. And Ryan, Hello. remember you can just relax, share your, um, do you have your question? Yeah. Dave, uh, oh, um, Dave, oh my, my name's my name. And today, um, <clears throat> I have a, I'm from this one, um, what have you gotten out of being a self advocate in trampoline voices? What does it mean to be an advocate for Champlain voices? Yeah. Well, I think what it means is to bring my voice to be heard at a table where we're all self-advocates and we're all working on great things for one another. And I bring things that are important to me, which should be important to other self-advocates as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what it means for me. I, I think bettering ourselves and being great advocates, that's, that's the name of the game. Huh. All right. Uh, what, what I made today was um, this poster was that... Um, Right, Ryan, Ryan, okay. Ryan, if you touch it, it makes it really noisy um, in there. So, yeah. So, Ryan. Okay. Ryan, um, what I did is made my poster with um, topaz. And, and I, I burned it out. It's expressive art. Um, burning, burning tin. So, this art was made. And it, it, it inspired me because um, I was just really glad because I'm sort of excited to show the art. So, um, next. Well, maybe do you want to, David, do you have a question for Ryan? That is wonderful artwork. And what, ins what inspired you to do this artwork? Well, um, well, uh, it inspired me for magazines. Because of Brenda and um, no, uh, <laughs> actually it inspired me for magazines and um, I was I was sort of excited because it got me inspired me but um, I, I kind of I, I, I was I was cutting but I, I had to cut and glue and um, I'm just excited 
So, thanks, Dave. You know what I love about, can I share something that I love about this? I heard, okay. so I, Topaz usually gives people a small piece of paper and, and you expanded. Yeah, you, yeah. you, and Topaz saw that you needed more space and she gave you a bigger piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. is great. She she saw that you you're and Ryan you do expand yep. and need space. I just wanna ball them out. I'm in the man and we the man. You'll hear my true suckers say. Yes. So you take <laughs> space, and and how did that feel when 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 well, she didn't say? Oh no no sorry Ryan you have to stay in this small space. Oh. I'm sorry. She said. Okay. No. I see you want to expand. Okay. Here's a bigger piece of paper. Thanks. How did that feel? Oh, um, it felt great, and I'm sorry. It felt good, and um. <laughs> you ready to rock on? Do you, do you want to thank David? Thanks, Dave, for um, meeting with this guy for a minute. For now, I'm gonna add cannons next because I'm just gonna say my words. Okay, and now here's Cadence. Welcome. Thanks. You have a question for David? I do. Tell us a story about a time you broke up for yourself. There's a lot of times that I spoke up for myself because I feel if you don't speak up for yourself, your voice will never be heard. And so there was a time where I was in a home care environment um, and my home care provider was a vegan. And I didn't like vegan food. And I just said, I can't eat this stuff. It's not me. And I told my case manager at the time, I said, you've put me into a home that they're all vegan and I can't eat, I'm not gonna eat vegan food. I like regular food. And so I gotta tell you, when there's a situation that arrives in your life and you don't like it, I hope you can speak up for yourself or speak up for others because it is so important for others to listen to your voice. Oh, wow, thanks, David. Thanks. David, do you have some questions about Cadence's collage? Yes, I'd like to know more about your collage and, and your, what, what's, in, what's inspired in it for you. Wow. I I like the um the spider me because I like the ocean and the clouds and I see like a hot air balloons when we are like in the car or something and I see the hot air balloons. Um. um so you things that you love, like the ocean, like the being in be at different places. Yeah. Things things that you love to do. Yeah. And dreams. And I love your dream. Cadence is a big part of how the dream seekers got named the dream seekers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's on a mission. I love it. Do you want to ask Cadence any questions about her dreams? What are your dreams, Caden? Would you like to be a self-advocate and be part of Champlain Voices? Um, I don't know. I don't know what my dreams are, so I don't really no at the moment but do you like the idea that if you have dreams you can seek them yeah so you love that idea that one can have dreams 
Yeah. Sometimes you don't, yeah, you don't know what they are yet. Mm -hmm. Do you want to ask him if, if David has had a dream that he has sought, that he went after? I have so many dreams. I, um, and dreams, uh, they're important to keep because sometimes your dreams do come true. Um, like seeking a different job profession. I've always thought about that. I, I've been in food service for such a long, long time that I, I'd like to do something more meaningful in my life, more, more something that is uh, more important to me. And that's working with self advocates. And I'm, I'm starting to do that. And so, you know, seek your dream when you, when you have a dream, because the dreams are important. Uh, yeah. And I'll add, I, I mean, something that's happened in the work we've been doing in Champlain Voices, David, you were interested in, in you know, you all being more at the table, and David invited a friend who's a, a researcher, kind of like Sefakor is a researcher, she's a doctor of, of study, and, and so this woman, Amanda Miller, is a, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what her doctorate is in, but it's in disability studies. And, and David brought her in just to meet Champlain Voices, but now Champlain Voices are working on a research project. So they are the researchers, which means they are the ones at the table deciding what this project is. And so, David, that was a dream I've been hearing you talk about, let's be at the table. And you don't always know how it's going to happen, but that's such a cool thing to see that it's, it's happening. It's you happening. All, this project has a kind of a premiere date where they're just going to talk a little bit about it, but it will be in a national conference online. So Yeah, so our, our, our big thing is... Uh, March 8th. March 8th. March 8th at 2 p.m., uh, a webinar, and I'm so excited. Yeah, and I think that's the tip of the iceberg. That's just the beginning. But if you didn't have this little dream to just keep you walking towards what's going to happen, because you don't know how it's all going to play out. Yeah. yeah, and it's a lot to take in. can make you a little tired. Yeah. Shall we get the other dream seekers back? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to snap in the dream seeker. So, and we'll, yes, we'll snap you in and then we'll say a big goodbye to you, David. So, oh, yeah. So we're snapping you in. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. Oh, you just have to talk louder in the room so yeah. he can hear you. Hello, Dave. Hi. <laughs> My name's Ryan, and um, I'm gonna say a big. We've had a, we've had a lovely time today, Dave. And with Ryan, um, thank you, for, thank you very much. But until then, for um, dream seekers, I'm gonna say a big. Um, let's all wave. Thank. Thanks for seeing them with Ryan the One. Bye bye, David. Bye, Dad. Bye. Bye. Nice. Thank you. Nice seeing y'all. Yay. Bye, Dad. And um, bye bye from the two seekers, David. Bye bye. Bye. And, and do you want to say goodbye to our audience? And goodbye to everyone. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm. oh, we talked side. about it a little bit, but should we should we acknowledge Gray? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Fourth um, dream seeker. Yeah. <clears throat> Can we? Here we go. Um, Ray Sterling was a huge part of our lives, and um, I also want to say a big thank you to Ray Sterling because I'm gonna I'm gonna miss him. Well, he's still with us. He's just yeah. he's just not here, here today. today. Right. He, he, he's not here. Not here today. But he's here on this. He's, he's here with us. But he's here on the screen. But he's here on the screen. Today, um, he's making delightful artwork for us to share. So. 
Good luck, good luck Ray Sterling from Ryan. Clara. And Kaden from the Dream Seekers. Ready? Ready? From the Dream Seekers. We're going to Ready? Here we go. From the Dream Seekers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.